going on, Charnu Nation? Charnu 300 here, bringing you PBL Team Builder re like recap. I'm gonna call it the Team Builder recaps uh, for the uh, again the Omaha Oma Stars. Uh, we've already faced them twice this season, one in preseason, one in regular season, and both times we have lost, and I would like to ch actually, I think we faced them three times. I think this is our third time facing them, uh, fourth time facing them, actually. Which, honestly, that's bonkers. No, this has to be third. But I would like to change that. I would like to win. Because if we win this week, then we are basically in, I think we're basically in the playoff run at that point. But if we do not win, Colton, the coach, original hypno Hypnotoad, the OG Hypnotoad, he is guaranteed a spot in the playoffs and we are kicked out. So we have to win this to be able to make it to the playoffs. Now, as you can see here, I'm bringing a more unorthodox team, I guess, but I'm trying to make the teams bulkier, as you can see, like just pretty bulky Pokemon in general. Anyway, so first up, we got Meowzy, probably the only non-bulky Pokemon here. Running the Psychic, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam. Now, I'm running Calm Mind because with the three moves that I have here, I hit nine out of it. I hit nine out of his eleven Pokemon uh, for super effective damage. Uh, and if I could get one Calm Mind up, it's basically an Oko onto anything. Excuse me, I have to. Ready? Bad cough. I don't have a bad cough, but. I needed to cough badly. So, Meowzy is basically a setup sweeper, and not to mention that I'm running max speed timid, which gives it a base 350 speed stat, which is outstanding. And, oh yeah, it's holding the expert belt with the magic bounce ability. Foreign defense, just because I'm already going to be boosting my special defense, so why put it there? Uh, wow, that was sloppy. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on. Next Pokemon, Hoi in one the Fortress, Fortress, with the leftovers, Sturdy, with Stealth Rock, Spikes, Volt Switch, Gyro Ball. Now, I may regret not putting a Rapid Spin on here, but I think we'll be good, because Volt Switch gives me a slow Volt Switch into anything I want here, uh, which is very good in case I want to bring in Meowzy without having to take an attack. Fortress could take the attack, switch out into Meowzy. Maybe on a good play, set up a Calm Mind and be able to sweep afterwards. If I could set up two Calm Minds, that would be better. But uh, I, have to, I have to keep the Expert Belt, honestly. Uh, I have to keep the Expert Belt. I can't, like, give it Focus Sash or whatever. I have to keep the expert belt for damage purposes. Anyway, running max special defense with a careful nature. Max HP, foreign defense. Uh, game plan is set up stealth rocks and at least one layer of spikes. So if I can survive for... Uh, if I can survive for... Ba it would be three turns, basically. Because I'd, got, I'd have to get hit uh, twice. So I'd have to be able to stay alive for the third turn. And then possibly get another layer of spikes up. More spikes, more happiness in my opinion, uh, because uh, one layer spikes does, I think, like, one twelfth damage. Uh, two layers get, does, like, one eighth, and then three layers does one sixth of their health, not to mention Stealth Rock come into play. So it's just really good. Anyway, next up is Blubber, the Gastrodon, with the leftovers. As you can see, so many Pokemon on my team have leftovers. I might want to change that. But Blubber needs lefties. Uh, Little Wayne has the Assault Vest. Uh, maybe we'll switch you from lefties, and I'll give you something a little bit better, like Rocky Helmet. Yeah, in case it's Darmanitan, Rocky Helmet would be good. So, Rocky Helmet. Uh, good thing I just checked over that, but uh, two Pokemon have lefties, got it. So, anyway, he has Surf, Earth Power, Recover, and Ice Beam. Ice Beam is for the Crobat. Earth Power is for the Heliolisk. Uh, and Pokemon along those lines. Uh, Surf is for the Darmanitan. It one-shots Darmanitan after Stealth Rocks. Uh, 
Not to mention he could take a, a flare blitz no matter what because he's running max HP, max physical defense. As you can see, I'm running all my walls the way they're not supposed to be ran, trying to make my team a little bit more equally as bulky because without all the investment, I think it brings me down to like 150 defense, and I don't want 150 defense. I want good defense. Like, let's just check. Yeah, 172. So... We could be, yeah, I think I'd prefer the extra 100 points in my defense because then I could take a flare blitz, dish out a surf, and be able to KO it. Next up is Bernard, our backup setup sweeper. Now he is running the Dragon Dance, the Stone Edge, the Earthquake, and the Crunch. Stone Edge hurts the Crobat. Excuse me. Stone Edge hurts the Crow. I, I believe I hit every Pokemon on his team with this move set for super effective damage. Uh, I hit, except for the Mega Sableye. But Mega Sableye I could take out with uh, two crunches. And after a Dragon Dance, it's one, I believe, after Stealth Rocks, <laughs> if I'm sure. I, I did like a test match with this team on the OU ladder, and my opponent actually had a Mega Sableye and a Kiram Black. Like, my opponent in the PBL does. So that was actually very lucky. Like, just to test out this team, just to see how good or bad it was. Anyway, Stone Edge will hit the Kiram Black for, very, for super effective damage. Uh, Kiram, it would also hit the Crobat for super effective damage. It will hit the... Okay, this is bugging me. Give me one second. Other bookmarks. And I know you guys can see all this. I don't care, honestly. There's nothing here that I would be ashamed of. Stare at it. Like, there's nothing wrong. Why is new tab? Okay, I won't even ask. <laughs> anyway, here's his team. So, Mega. Yeah, it can hit the Mega Sableye for super effective damage, but I believe a crunch after a Dragon Dance after Stealth Rocks is able to Oko it. Metagross, it can hit for super effective damage with EQ. Basically, if I get to plus one, plus one, I'm probably going to sweep. Uh, Kieran Black, Stone Edge, Terrakion, EQ, Azelf, Crunch, Crobat, Stone Edge, Darmanitan, Stone Edge, or EQ, Crest, Crunch, Heliolisk, Earthquake, Lipard, I can't hit that with super effective damage because I believe it's a dark type, but Stone Edge or EQ could obviously destroy it unless it's running the Focus Sash yet, and I don't even expect him to bring it in the first place. And Dusclops, I can hit for super effective damage, but I believe that even like plus one, Dusclops could take a Crunch from a max attack Tyranitarx. Because Eviolite, max HP, max defense crunch, <coughs> it's a threat. Anyway. Gumbo, the Mega Venusaur, holding the Venusaur, right? Because it has to with the thick fan ability. EQ Seed Bomb Knockoff Synthesis. <coughs> I'm running max attack, max HP, foreign special defense, and an adamant nature. <coughs> now, this is mainly because... Uh, as you can see, my team doesn't go good against uh, his my team. My Mega Venusaur does not have a good matchup against his team. But if I could switch it in, get some knockoffs off on like the Azelf and the Cress, and possibly Metagross, and then fire off an EQ, EQ is gonna hurt anything here. And Seed Bomb is just for stab damage. Like if I'm one on one against the Mega Sableye, EQ would be a, I mean Seed Bomb would be a good bet. And. Dusclops, I can hit with a knockoff, because I want to get rid of that Eviolite. I swear, if Tyranitar got knockoff, it would be moved to Ubers. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yep, that's basically all that Gumbo's here for. And then Little Wayne. Little Wayne, <clears throat> I was just at, like, the last minute, and I'm just thinking, okay, as you can see, my team here are, like, really bulky Pokemon, because he has really hard hitters, such as the Darmanitan. And... <clears throat> Anyway, I had to just tell him that we we're saying our Pokemon to level 100 because Tyranitar can't be under 55. <coughs> As you could hear, I have something in my throat. Anyway, Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast. Focus Blast will hit the Terrakion for super effective damage, not to mention just do a lot to anything. I'll also hit the Heliolus because it's part normal. Honestly, I think normal types should just be normal types unless it's like normal flying, honestly. Like Pidgeot. And stuff like that, but anyway, Dragon Pulse is just for stab. Flamethrower will hit uh, the Kiram Black for neutral. It's not super effective against anything, is it? 
Not one Pokemon on his team is weak to fire. Except for Metagross. Met Metagross is. Anyway. Uh, Thunderbolt is for uh, Crobat, which could be a possible switch in trying to get a Brave Bird off, thinking that I'm actually going to be specially defensive. But actually, I'm running a max defense, 252 defense, uh, bold nature with the f 252 in HP, mainly because it's bulk by itself, and then I'm adding an Assault Vest on top of that, so I'm basically giving it about 252. It's, it's redonkulous, anyway. One team that I wish I faced, though, was the Detroit Gligers. <laughs> just because. I just like their team. Anyway. Uh, that's about it. That's about it for this uh, Team Builder recap. But if you enjoyed, leave a like. And subscribe to become part of the Charnado. What is that thing? In the top right. Wait. Okay, got it. Anyway. Subscribe to become part of the Charnado Nation. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed this Team Builder recap. And, <coughs> I'm sorry, but be hyped for this battle against the Omaha, Oma Stars, on this Sunday, which, actually, I'm having the b battle really early. It's, like, I haven't even posted the Week 6 battle yet. <laughs> I'm recording this, like, Tuesday. Tuesday the, yeah, Tuesday the 11th. <laughs> and... It goes up, like, all the way back then. But anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day, and I will see you. Oh, my gosh. See ya. I can't do it. Forget it.